Some new developments from overnight. White House officials telling us that President Trump was working the phones overnight, speaking to senators, trying to make sure he had the votes for his Supreme Court pick, Brett Kavanaugh. It came at the end of an emotionally draining day that was a powerful and raw, she said, he said. For Christine Blasey Ford, the historic hearing was deeply personal. I am here today not because I want to be. I am terrified. I am here because I believe it is my civic duty to tell you what happened to me while Brett Kavanaugh and I were in high school. Ford speaking publicly for the first time about an alleged assault more than 30 years ago. I was pushed onto the bed and Brett got on top of me. He began running his hands over my body and grinding into me. I believed he was going to rape me. I tried to yell for help. When I did, Brett put his hand over my mouth to stop me from yelling. This is what terrified me the most and has had the most lasting impact on my life. It was hard for me to breathe, and I thought that Brett was accidentally going to kill me. Ford remembers looking over at Judge. I made eye contact with Mark and thought he might try to help me, but he did not. Overnight, Mark Judge sending a letter to Senate leaders writing in part, I do not recall the events described by Dr. Ford. I never saw Brett act in the manner Dr. Ford describes. The psychology professor asked about her strongest memory from that night. The uproarious laughter between the two and their having fun at my expense. With what degree of certainty do you believe Brett Kavanaugh assaulted you? 100%. Then it was Kavanaugh's turn, arriving hand in hand with his wife, delivering a fierce denial. My family and my name have been totally and permanently destroyed. I was not at the party described by Dr. Ford. This confirmation process has become a national disgrace. This is a circus. Kavanaugh often emotional, fighting to clear his name. That's not who I am. It is not who I was. I am innocent of this charge. I intend no ill will to Dr. Ford and her family. The other night, Ashley and my daughter Liza said their prayers. And little Liza, all of 10 years old, said to Ashley, we should pray for the woman. It's a lot of wisdom from a 10-year-old. The Supreme Court nominee also answering questions about his drinking. I liked beer. I still like beer. But I did not drink beer to the point of blacking out, and I never sexually assaulted anyone. Judge Kavanaugh, thank you very much. Hearing adjourned. As soon as the hearing adjourned, President Trump delivering his verdict, a ringing endorsement of his nominee, tweeting, Judge Kavanaugh showed America exactly why I nominated him. His testimony was powerful, honest, and riveting. The president notably making no mention of Kavanaugh's accuser, Christine Blasey Ford. During Thursday's hearing, Brett Kavanaugh touted his unanimous, well-qualified rating from the American Bar Association. But overnight, a new development, a letter from the bar urging the Senate Judiciary Committee to wait before holding the vote, calling on them to, quote, conduct a confirmation vote on, on Judge Kavanaugh's nomination to the Supreme Court only after an appropriate background check into the allegations made by Professor Ford and others is completed by the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Savannah and Craig. All right, Peter, thank you so much.